Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking on the burst mode and trying to get as high a score, well, relatively high a score as possible. So I've done this with Planetary Destruction, a much more free to play friendly build. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the top right hand corner. This build, a little bit less free to play friendly, but we've made the score a little bit higher to achieve. We're around 200 or so points up. Um, we are a little bit you know, higher up. You could push this quite a bit. Um, depending on if you have the tech LR Burley, who I haven't included yet because his EZA is not just out at the time of doing this video, you could very easily push this up uh, quite a bit. So if you have him, you can incorporate him into the team. You can add 50% defense. You can definitely boost up the attack the enemies take. You can probably boost up their health. Like You could definitely push this. I would say even with this current iteration of the team, you need a bit of luck. But you could definitely push this to the 6500 realm fairly easily. Um, it's not the hardest burst mode, so I think you know it's a fairly straightforward one. For our team, for the lead, we're gonna have a tech Zamasu because of his extreme types and his realm of the god. Like I said, you can replace, and the one I would replace is the int Super Saiyan free to play Broly. I would replace him with the tech one. You can still keep the tech as a Masu, uh, it's not the end of the world. You're just kind of floating him and hoping he doesn't get hit. The important thing here is you want to try have rotations of tech Zamasu into Ella Goku Black and obviously tech Broly and int Broly. However, if your int Super Saiyan free to play Broly and your tech Zamasu merged, the support variant, are under like threat of being supered or taking the damage because as you push the attack multiplier up they will they're going to take like a couple hundred k per hit you may need to split rotations that's okay to do it's not a big problem put them in places where you're not going to die that makes your life a lot easier the section a lot of people will struggle with is the middle section because you're facing multiple enemies the important thing is to target those that are going to immediately give you huge issues so i immediately target the physical unit in phase two, because that gives my int free to play Broly a huge problem. I also immediately target the Piccolo in stage one, because that gives me a huge problem for my tech Zamasu. So anytime there's like this threat of potentially taking significant damage, try to target those units, focus on those units, and give them, you know, get rid of them quite quickly. Generally speaking, I would say it's not the hardest one, like I said, but there are still primary targets you want to focus on to make things work out for you as a team. Also, like you saw me in the beginning, picking up key before I enter the stage, this helps to counteract the minus three key modifier that we have. Generally speaking though, you shouldn't have a huge problem. Your rotations have so much damage between them that once they're set up and they're ready to go, then you pretty much eliminate the enemy with quite significant ease. Especially if you have the tech LR Burley as well. He's also an AoE unit. He also does a lot of damage. He also does multiple super attacks. So that does tend to help you out as well. Like I said, in terms of rotation, it's very simple. Goku Black, tech LR Zamasu, tech int, I mean tech Burley, int Burley. Very simple, very straightforward. Save int Burley's active skill for the final physical phase against Goku. This will make it go really fast alternatively it will take a little bit of time because even though you have very good damage you have increased the modifiers of the bosses quite a bit so generally speaking it could take a little bit of time you might get your doken attack like i have and then you're pretty much good to go you'll also notice that i have the int goku black in this rotation which technically i shouldn't but like i said i broke up the rotation a bit earlier on to avoid damage your only risk factors here are the Tex Masu and the Int Super Saiyan free to play really. If you avoid damage on those and just put them out of harm's way, even if you're breaking rotations, 9 times out of 10, you're going to get this and you could go even further. A lot of it's just going to depend on luck, on where attacks fall. You could push the modifiers up quite a bit. You have quite a bit of room here. Like I said, personally, I'm probably going to go for 6500, but I just kind of wanted to showcase the team build and you know, show people what you can do and the modifiers to select. So yeah, that's it from me. Uh, hopefully that covers everything you need to know. 
uh, you should be pretty good to go from this point onwards. Now both burst mode options are up and I think that'll give players a good basis to kind of twist and adapt as necessary. Ultimately, it's up to you and your box. If you do need a more free to play friendly version, please check my other video. It is just a little bit more accessible a team. However, if you're looking to push score, this is definitely the good route to go. 6 to 10, not too bad. I could definitely see 6 500. But yeah, anyway, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.